Hi, uh, Dwayne from Blue Jay Bushcraft. Just thought I'd do a quick video in answer to the tag of Meet the Bushcrafters that uh, Mick from Jester Bushcraft put, tagged me with. Uh, basically, it's the same old story as uh, quite, a, quite a few other people have already seen on the tags. Uh, started off as a as a kid, I was you know love love being outdoors, playing out, exploring, um, building dens, uh, making fires, cooking on the fire. You know um, the old favourite of the uh, potatoes in the fire, uh, pan pancakes, that kind of thing, and beans in the old saucepans and whatnot. Um, camp, you know, camping. I'll always, always loved that. Uh, used to go away well, every year with, uh, with my mum and dad in a, you know, in a caravan. We used to stay up uh, in South Lakes, and I was out there exploring the woods and the, you know, the surrounding area all, all day. You know, I'd disappear in the morning. That's it. They wouldn't see me till dinner time. And um, <clears throat> it wasn't it wasn't known as bushcraft then, but it was, it was you know a few of the same same ideas. And uh, I would say maybe eleven, twelve years ago, uh, I saw a program on the television. Um, Ramia's program. I thought that looked, that I like that. That's that looks you know, that's for me that kind of thing. So I looked up and you know, started looking a bit you know into, into bushcraft a bit more online and uh, got a couple of Ray Mays DVDs and then I found a DVD by Peter Gorletta, uh, Bushcraft and, and Survival. Uh, found that on eBay, I think it was originally found that. So I, I picked up a copy of that. I had a look at that, and that just, you know, from from there on, I, w I was hooked. Um, as Mick said, uh, I'm not a great reader, but I can read snippets out of books. You know, look, pick things out that I like to do. You know, certain bits. Read up on it, find out how to do it, give it a try. I, I can't sit and read for hours, you know, like Mick said. I, I, I'm the same as him. I get too distracted. But uh, you know, I can get ideas out of books, try them out, get ideas off uh, video, you know, videos on YouTube. Uh, again, I'll second what Mick said on that. You know, YouTube is great for finding out different things, learning learning more about bushcraft and that. Um, you know, just basic, basically, basically took it from there. Really, you know, the more, more I learnt, the more I tried out, trying different things, coming up with a few ideas of myself. Um, mainly on proper camping trips with the kids and that. Not uh, the, the area where I live. It's not not ideal for wild camping. There's woodlands and that. There's not that much of it's mainly mainly moorland countryside. Um, without having to travel for miles, um, you can see by my surroundings. I'm actually at work at the moment in the truck, so time at weekend for getting away is a bit limited because I'm away quite a lot during the week anyway in the lorry. So you know, but I do get out as you've seen on the videos that I've done on YouTube so far. Um, you know, I do get out in the you know the local wood and get bits of bushcraft done and playing. Um, I'm a bit in the same situation as Mick seems to be that he's not found a suitable spot for wild camping. Uh, that's reasonably nearby. But that's hopefully gonna change this year. I've got a couple of places in mind. Um, that need checking out. So hopefully this year get out and uh, actually 
put the not put the knowledge into practice. So I think that's uh, that's basically me, really.